Welcome back everybody, Brobent here. Today we have a new update 0.56. This is mostly a visuals update as I've added a bunch of new artwork and have changed a bunch of textures and added some new effects. So today we're going to be going over the most important changes in this update. Cue the close-ups. So in Cave 3, otherwise known as my cave base, they have added some skull piles. They have a very strong red accent to them. You can see here with the skulls and the bone pile at the side. Really cool addition, although I can't really see how this came to exist. Why are the skulls red? Cool addition though, really nice, and I like it. Moving on to changes for the flare, dynamite, and held fire stick. They have added a bunch of new particles. Now the flare is probably my favorite. It just looks so good. So you can see here, the way they look, the sparks at the top of them, everything about them, they just feel different. They feel brighter as well. They feel like a real flare before they seem to be a bit dead and useless. However though, if the devs are listening, I think they should be a bit brighter when you throw them. This next change is a bug fix for the player not being able to move when you kill an enemy in combat. I did notice this a fair few times in my survival series. And it baffled me. I just I noticed that you sometimes just got locked up and you could you couldn't move. And it did take away from the immersion, but I'm glad to see that they have fixed this. Okay, so I did some extensive testing with this next change, and it says here that they've improved animations throughout the end game cutscenes and enemies. I went ahead and recorded the entire ending, both before the update and after. I put them side by side in editing, and I didn't see one change. The only thing I saw was a few timing changes, but it, we're talking like less than a second. So honestly, don't really know what they're talking about here. If anyone else knows, throw it in the comments below. So if you've got a big base in your world, you want to be a bit more careful. They have increased the chance of enemies to investigate large player built bases. So if you've got a massive fortress, well, keep your eyes peeled. They've polished a few things with the enemy AI. They have fixed enemies sometimes able to climb structures built over water. Never came across this myself. Uh, would have been interesting to see it. Sounds like it was a bit OP to me, but I'm glad to see that that has been removed. They've also fixed enemies sometimes not drowning when underwater. Thank God. Thank God. So enemies will now not be able to see you through player built walls. So you can see right here on the left, and on the right, the enemy is looking right at me, but this is just a representation of the location. She would not be able to see me if she was walking past on a patrol, for example. So if I'm in a house, I think they will just walk straight past you now. Really cool, 10 out of 10 IGN. This next change is a really lovely tweak. So they've improved the light animation and you can no longer throw dynamite before it is lit. So previously, you were able to engage the lighting animation, and then before you'd finished sparking the the wick, you could launch it and throw it, and it just looked like it just got launched from some sort of catapult that was on your back. So now it will lock it, and you cannot throw it. They have fixed a very popular bug with players getting launched into the sky for combat. So if you were having a fight previously, there was a chance that you could get launched really high into the sky. Perhaps it had something to do with the collision? Really awesome change, you can no longer expect to transform into a bird. You can no longer use a severed leg or arm to get sap from a tree. Don't worry, I didn't know this was a thing either, you're not the only one. I wish I knew this before the update though, that would have been hilarious. They have added a new texture for the abandoned wood boat. This looks absolutely amazing now, I just love getting close-ups with the new textures. It looks so polished and nice. I think it was like a white plasticky one before, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. This just matches the whole forest and island scenario much better. Awesome, awesome change. They've added a new burnt texture for enemies. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of enemies lined up and they all have this new burnt texture. It looks really detailed, but I'm getting a bit too close here, but from a, from a normal distance, it would look really detailed. So now you can go ahead and burn some armses and cannibals and turn them into Deadpool. They've added new particles for chopping trees and added a fine particle dust effect. The dust effect in this clip is rather hard to see, but if you're in a normal scenario, then you can. But you can see the chips of wood just look a bit better. And the dust, if you can spot it, it's just in the gap. 
And if you've perhaps cut some wood before with a saw, you can see how accurate this is. So enemies that have been trapped in happy birthday, noose, or deadfall traps are saved. So what you can do is trap a bunch of enemies in noose traps, save, exit, reload, and they will still be there. One thing to note though is if you've got one trapped in a noose trap, and you save, exit, and reload, then it will load in dead. This next change, I, I've struggled to figure out what this was. You are no longer able to build structures attached to traps. I never noticed this before the update, so it's really hard for me to pin anyway, but I went ahead and placed some blueprints, or tried to place some blueprints on top of them to see if I could make like a structure that doesn't fall down, for example, and I couldn't get it. So if you guys, again, know this change, please post it in the comments. I would love to know. The yacht sail has had an upgrade. You can see now that it has been wrapped up and coiled. In my opinion, it looks a bit too clean. It looks like it came here yesterday. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, but it needs some, needs some muck on it. But I really like the change. It just needs to look dirty. Unless they want us to think that it came here yesterday. This next change took me absolutely ages to get footage of, so I hope you appreciate these, and I do apologize for the shakiness. But they've added a new snow blowing effect in the snow biome. So the wind will now pick up small pieces of snow that are laying on the top, small particles, and will drift them around. You can see here with the drifts right there. Looks rather cool, nice aesthetic change. It's something that you would have to really be paying attention to to notice. They've added a new sound effect to the handheld lit flare. There's a new incandescent texture for the lit flare and lit dynamite wick. You can see here with the side-by-side -side footage. They have changed the textures for the tree stumps. You can see here that it's a lot brighter, cleaner. They fixed a bug where enemies can trigger animal traps, causing them to vanish or break. So if you have an item assigned to slot one on your backpack, and then you go ahead and assign that same item to let's say slot two, it will remove the item from slot one and just move it to slot two. So you can't have two items on two slots. The stick, rock, pouch, and repair tool can now be assigned to quick select. The major one there of course is the repair tool. The catapult now properly receives damage and can be destroyed. It no longer rains inside the shipping containers. I'm not sure if this is just an aesthetic change, but if it's not, you can go in here to stay dry, perhaps? Just an interesting note to add. They have made the cogs a little bit more consistent when assigning weapons to quick select. So now you press right click on both actions. The pedometer will now save the amount of steps you have walked when you save and exit. So you can start racking up those numbers. They've added new particles for player footsteps on snow, sand, and some leafy surfaces. It's easier to see these in shadow, and I couldn't find the leafy texture one. I don't really know whereabouts that would be. This is kind of a request in that games, but I would love to see footprints in snow and sand, and maybe muddy surfaces. That would be so good. Flares will now turn off when you throw them into water and will switch to the dead flare material. They have applied a fix for the pedometer where the screen went invisible when you went partially in water. The rock swing trap is now a bit lower. I think it's only ever so slightly lower. It says here that it fixed Ghost being away from completed trap position. This next one took me quite a while to get my head around. I don't know, it's just the way that they word some of the changes. But basically, when you're placing a staircase, if you place a point down, look outwards, but don't place the chunk. If you press E, it will now place the chunk. At least I think that's what this change is. I'll read it out for you now. When placing stairs, while a new chunk can be locked, it automatically locks it before placing. So I think I got that right. It is now possible to lock a one log wide stairs chunk. This allows you to create some rather funky shapes. I'm not entirely sure where I would use that in a serious build though. They've improved the look of fire smoke particles. However, I did notice this was only on the small fire, like the, the cheapest one, the one with the rocks around it, the fire pit. It doesn't appear to have that much smoke. Perhaps this has some sort of effect on the cannibals. Can they see you from further away? If they do, that'd be awesome. So if you partially cut a tree and then hit an arrow at it, the arrow will now remain in the tree. 
I think previously it just didn't count it as a true entity and went straight through the tree. Never really come across that myself, but cool. You can now cancel the arrow draw by pressing right click when drawing back. The upgraded spear now has a splash particle when hitting water. These next two changes are for multiplayer only. Fixed rabbits not appearing white in the snow area for clients. Yes, I know the rabbit's dead. Fixed positions of all items on the metal tray. So previously, for example, the pellets or the bullets would appear massive on the tray. And there was a bunch of other stuff like rope where you couldn't combine it, it was impossible. That was something that needed to be done. Great work and night games. Something that we noticed in my survival series is that the bow was distorted when you placed it on a weapon rack. Rather hilarious, but now they have fixed it. So bonfires are much more easy to use. The icons are now dynamically positioned to solve the visibility issue. So the icon will now follow you if you walk around it. This just makes it so you can, for example, place food on the fire really easily. You can retrieve the food. You can add some leaves to it to get the fire going a bit better. You can do all of that stuff without burning yourself now. Fish that are caught in fishing traps no longer flicker. When you place lit dynamite on a tree, it will now place the one in your hand. Previously, it would place the one or one from in your backpack and it would just look like it magically appeared. Well, now it will disappear from your hand and you will get another one out from your inventory. And this one, I really don't understand why, but you can place unlit dynamite on a tree because that's useful. All right, everyone. Well, that does sum up the most important changes for 0 0.56. This was a really large update, but just, it was mainly just small minor stuff. Lots of visual changes as well, which is awesome. If you guys did enjoy this update video, make sure to leave a like on the video. If there's something that you would like to see in the forest, or perhaps a bug that you have come across that just occurs all the time, let me know in the comments below. I'd be rather interested to see what you guys would like to see. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.